breakthrough study released this week by researchers at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center may be the first step in uncovering a whole new way to prevent concussions in high school sports, especially football. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains in today's Medical Edge. Stand on that platform facing this direction. It was a sudden blow to the head for Jack, who plays high school football, that brought him here to this biodynamics research center in need of further evaluation. While I was at practice. I went to make a tackle and I got knocked. Jack's dad initially didn't think much about it until. Two weeks after the, the injury, he took a concussion test and they told us he failed it miserably. The good news for Jack is that he does appear to be on the mend, but the real goal for this team here is to prevent concussions from ever happening. Since the most recent studies show that helmets don't do the trick, Dr. Greg Meyer has been looking at another potential fix. It is based on previous research that we might need to tighten up the fit of the human brain inside the head when we play contact sports. To find this out, you might be surprised, they actually reviewed a couple of very unique animals with some very unique habits. So what we've done is we've uh, worked with a group who's been studying animal physiologies and especially woodpeckers and head ramming sheep. Yep, you heard him. Woodpeckers and head ramming sheep. Animals that have repeated massive concussive blows to the head and do not appear to suffer the same damaging consequences as humans. And what they've determined is they have this muscle called a hyoid muscle, and the, the, we as hum, mammals have that as well, and it, we can alter or self-alter our, our jugular outflows. Very similar to what we see when we lay down. We can alter it to those, those levels, but what that does is it creates airbags for our, our brain and takes out that, that slack or that, that area for slosh is what we call it. Now Meyer's team has taken this research one step further. They wanted to find out if this sort of protective effect could happen naturally at higher altitudes. So his team did a nationwide review from 500 high schools across the country. And we just split by high altitude and low altitude and we found a very strong effect up to a 30 percent reduced rate in concussion in those schools that played at higher altitudes. Now the team is in the process of conducting further studies with a device that would work to alter brain flow and potentially do the same thing no matter what the altitude is where you play. We will bring you that information as soon as they know more. At Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. A preliminary lab studies on this new device did show a drop in concussions. They are now starting human trials.